Yes. Uh, oh, frog. frog. Yeah. Frog. Oh. Ah, pok pok pok. Okey, tu kupen ni lebih jari gua. Tu kupen. How much? Hmm. Forty ba. Forty ba. I'm scared. Hmm. What's up guys in another video and today actually it's another wonderful day on day 9 here in Thailand and exploring around so as you may know I will say what we have for breakfast with this hotel if you haven't seen the video as always if you haven't seen the video that I reviewed this hotel it's good to check that out it's on the channel already so this is what we did get for the breakfast and also the awesome meal as you always know this one here we had and actually you choose this is what i was choosing and my other brother was choosing something else but since i loved the sausages and i wish i had this in tanzania but not that good and i wonder always like different countries have different kind of taste of food that's something that i also noticed so yeah we started our journey in walking around the streets and exploring around there are a lot of things that we really found in the streets and some of the things that people didn't realize is um when i was in china <coughs> I think I even said this. Uh, when I was in China, I never saw someone begging in the streets. But in Thailand, I think it's kind of different lifestyle. I would find those normal, like people who with a normal lifestyle here, walking here and there. Like you'd find them in the street. Compared to China, you would never find someone begging in the street. Not in a bad way, but those are things that you rarely find in the street. So it was kind of surprisingly to see things like that. But the thing is, with their food also, it was something else. Now, I did walk around in the, uh, not, these are not the streets that you would see in, this, in the TV that they would show. These are not shown on the TV. These are actually the sidewalk. The sidewalk is, where should I say, the countryside of Thailand. Okay, so today I'm exploring the countryside of Thailand. And I would like to show you around what is available. I actually found something which was quite interesting. <laughs> It's a, it's a food by the way i'm just giving a hint i think it's gonna be in, i want to be explaining it on the way so yeah now as you can see this is the other side of thailand that actually most people don't talk about now this side the good thing about this side you find things that are very cheap compared to when you go in the town for instance you would find things that are very expensive but it doesn't mean they, there's lack of infrastructure on this other side now also on this side here as you can see the infrastructures are also damn good so the thing about thailand being this way what i like what i like about it is that even though you're in the countryside unlike our countries in africa like if you're in the countryside we don't even call it countryside we call it the village so it's really village if i should say so one of the things that i realized is even though you're in this countryside you'll still get all the service that you would get in town Though the luxuriousness, you rarely find them, but at least you're getting all the basics that you really want, and some of the luxuries you would find them too. And like the transportation is still more than if you, you would find tarmac roads. I like in Africa, I'm not saying that Africa is not a, it's not a good place, it is a good place, honestly. And some of the people really do love to experience that cultural, natural stuff. And like here, everything is modern, so everything is more of an artificial way. But if you're really interested, you can explore this other side. Now here, I'm in Skumvit. If you haven't known, I've been mentioning this place so much. It's called Skumvit, countryside of Skumvit. So I managed to go also far from Skumvit, but not really far from Skumvit. Somewhere in the certain lake here near Baitana, which of course I think I already shown you guys. So you should check that video out now one of the things i also noticed about thailand is <coughs> thailand unlike uh, other asian countries you would find uh, these uh, places that are actually places whereby people would go and stop over and then they would climb a bus uh, but here the thing is you would stop but even though the bus stops you're going to pay cash there you would rarely find ones that you can pay always straightforward like uh, other Asian countries like China, you would pay straight forward on the bus, like scanning and stuff. Yeah, I wouldn't see that happening. So the best way of also exploring 
apart from that apart from that there are also this way of exploring is walking around yourself and seeing what you can find in the street because sometimes you may say like hey let me let me take a walk and then trying to do this and that but sincerely honestly the best way is to just walk and walk and walk and then you will find what you want on the way but if you keep on using the car and stuff like that you won't enjoy your ride sincerely honestly so while walking i also found out there are some t-shirts that are sold now these are local t-shirts now honestly i can't buy this 60 or oh yeah, 60 60 baht uh, that is the money i think uh if i would convert that into us dollars i think it's gonna be around two us dollars let me see let me see here uh for conversion of um 60 baht 60 uh thai it's thai no money it's equal to four thousand like like two dollars two US dollars yeah i'm correct two US dollars now they are quite cheap and as you can see they're used t-shirts like they just use t-shirts all of them all of these just use 60 bucks which is mm, if you're really interested you can take that and 80 for a trouser and 120 for these ones jackets and 100. so if you're really interested you can get them but i wasn't really interested in getting them because I had a lot of calls and I would get some requests from people that they didn't get some someone to pick them some calls from this side so they would send them in their country. Yeah, of course, if you're really interested, you can let me know and then you can see how I can help you. But also, as you can see here, uh, these street foods that are sold here, they are really street, natural street food and the culture of Thailand belongs to them. I don't like those food whereby you find them in the town street food those are actually most of them just fried stuff but these ones here these are like really local local foods of thailand so if you really want to taste like the real taste of thailand i think you should come to the local stuff and as you can see the road there i think someone once told me that my even brother told me like he has never seen mud on the streets in this country such like this thailand so we finally saw some mud and <clears throat> As you walk around the streets, uh, unlike other countries, nobody's gonna stare you, stare at you so many times. Like if you focus on your stuff, nobody really cares even what you're doing. But if you go to some other countries, you would find people looking at you and staring all around. So we actually found something interesting here. I wanna show you around. And it was selling frogs. Yeah, you heard me correctly. There are some frogs things sold right there. Yeah, those are frogs. Let's go and check them out and see how the frogs are. And each frog was even being sold at a cheaper price. But this one here, there's pork also. Apart from pork, also there's frogs, as I say. These are the frogs, guys. Now, funny stuff is that um, the person who sells them, he didn't really want to try them, but the person who actually... He's selling, the person who's selling them doesn't want to try them, but the person who is uh, buying should eat them. Now, it's kind of surprising. Why are you selling something that you can't eat? Yeah, like why are you selling something that you can't eat? Yeah, that's a question. Amarecha, What's up? And actually right now we are in the streets whereby you can find, we have actually seen a frog right there and we are still exploring the street it's so noisy i hope you can hear me and i'm speaking so damn loud because you can hear me i've carried the mics but i'm so just tired not to remove the mics so as you can hear me yeah but we're still in the street with my brother here so we're walking all down and just exploring what this is as offer and we can't show you so much but we want to show you what we have and what you can see so, hello so we did walk a lot until we found this other place that was actually with um this is more of a mall like this mall and as you can see things here they are good but also they come with high price now the comparison of this um this from vita this from vita mall like a comparison with this well, this mall and the other mall that i was with i was uh, yesterday this is actually less cheaper than that one 
so if you're really wishing to come and buy things here it's gonna be much more better compared to the um, the platinum one so if you're gonna go to the platinum oh my god it's quite expensive but this one here at least it was quite cheap and it was a good place to buy stuffs one of the good things that i love about uh the mall here you would find things that are very really nice like for example if it's this world it's all about this thing you find this thing it's about bags about bags you about your coins about your coins then if you go for example if you want to buy uh, let's say toys there's a specific place for toys unlike some places you'd find some random stuff if it's curious on one place now there are some markets that i was trying to do that but we still have markets in this world whereby things are not organized so i think we should all learn from such things like that and be able to understand that organization is kind of thing that makes things more easier than if are disorganized now the bugs here trust me need to be careful because they will come at a cheap price but literally the quality itself is not that much interesting to know about it like the bag that i once bought here you know it looked like leather but in real sense it wasn't leather so of course it was cheap so i don't know how i don't want to complain anything but there's no choice for that and the place here is just just knowing that it's just good quality it's not real like it's always gonna be like small quality down but if you're really careful and good choosing you can get some good quality here you just need to be able to keep a small amount of money for us when you get what you want as you may see here we are actually asking uh, about the bags I really kind of found it interesting to see the prices that how like the prices wouldn't range so much compared to the prices in Tanzania so uh, I had to ask and one of my relatives who used to come here told me that literally uh, these uh, prices are high because they are better quality than China so maybe that kind of makes sense but the difference in prices in Tanzania and here they don't make any big difference. Unless otherwise, if you're from America, as I used to say, is that you are actually having a currency that is high compared to theirs. So I think they don't really, it doesn't really seem to be high anymore to you. But to African countries, most of them, the price would seem to be high still because the currency is kind of low. You already explained that in my video. So if you're interested to see that, go check my videos about Tanzania. Now, yeah, that's what we were actually bugging and then we didn't buy any of these bags. So then later I ended up trying all of these clocks that I bought. It's kind of sweet me. I really loved the style. I used to see that people wear this. There were some of the people might judge and say that it's clutch, but it's kind of annoying that it's you know, more Thailandish and it's different from the way people used to call it because it's kind of something that you will cover yourself in the phone. Nobody will know if it's a sweater or if it's something that you just cover yourself with, but it's kind of a unique style that symbolizes Thailand man. and even women sometimes when you sing guys with this, but some people might argue why I bought this and I did get some arguments from my mother, like why they buy it, but she said it was good. But sincerely, I love the style. It was kind of unique. I've not seen like a common style like this, so I thought it wasn't a bad idea to just put myself with the main way of having such a cloth. Now, tell me what you think if this really is worth it, because it was 100 baht, which is equivalent to 7,000 dozen shillings, which is equivalent to 3 US dollars. 3, depending on the rate, 3 US dollars. Yeah, on my side, I think it was worth it. Oh, 105. Wait, oh no, it was 250. 200, no, 250. Yeah, so it was like almost eight dollars. Yeah, eight dollars, not three hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, I think it was worth it. And I love it until today. I do wear right? it sometimes. I haven't gotten for it for a special event just for random and casual wear. Yeah, I think this is okay. So, we actually right now uh, near the platinum market the whole story how we came across the platinum market was while we were actually my brother here wanted to stay inside the room and i told him that i'm gonna leave him inside <laughs> i'm gonna leave him inside yeah, so he was like no you can't leave me inside i'm coming out too because the rest day he got inside he stayed on his own he got bored now he's regretting he didn't listen to my advice so today we came with him so we started by walking, we walked all the way around. Even this one place we found uh, found uh, we found uh, 
they were selling frog i didn't try that frog because the way they cooked it i wasn't sure so i didn't want to mess up with my stomach so what i ended up doing was just looking at it and recording it i think you might have seen it in one of my videos or i'll show you right now that's what they said but the thing is the person who was selling it wasn't even like uh ready to taste it even if i was going to buy it so that got me worried if you're selling something that you can't like try got me worried so i didn't try i didn't buy that so we walked all the way around i wasn't knowing even where we were going so we ended up meeting the platinum market we didn't know that it was the platinum market not until when we were actually when we were actually here that's when we checked on the map and i realized that was the platinum market and the prices inside there i was like surprised they're freaking low like the other market that i was yesterday if you have seen the day four this is by the way this is day 10 if not mistaken this is day 10 so if you have seen that video like uh the prices were not fair compared to the one that actually found the platinum market so if you're here in bangkok it's a good place you can go don't waste your time so much on going to other market the platinum markets it's quite a fair price very good so we bought some stuff like here you may have seen that on the video i'm not gonna show it so much but that's what we bought and the prices are quite well like i bought that for 100 and the other one for 100 which is 7,000 in my country almost the same price but you because they are sold in like a good quality place it'd be like more than that like 10,000. but the prices are quite genuine and when i asked also my aunt who used to uh we used to buy things in bangkok she said that here the quality things that like for example on the clothes size not on the electronic side like the clothes side like the prices of the things that you find they're expensive compared to when you're actually in your home country maybe in africa so it's quite fair comparing them to china because the quality is much more better compared to china so the prices are also fair so if you in case you counteract some prices by the way not all the places because if you're not in this market then i don't think if the other prices are well. for example you used to see those bags they would sell them for five thousand five thousand four thousand three thousand those normal bags while you could get the genuine one for 100 dollars like the one that i found i wish i had recorded that video and that market is mbk markets i think mbk downstairs the ground level i really love that bag i think among the bags that i'm gonna get is that that bag I really love that bag. You know the thing is electronics like this, I can just get them online. But with that bag, my friend, I don't think even you can buy it online. Even in in other places, you can't buy that online. That bag is very premium. I have a plan of going back to that bag. But these are the bags now. And yeah, that's the thing. So we ended up like my brother was really hungry. He was really hungry. So he said he wanted to eat. Because without him, we wouldn't have known that was the platinum market. That's the other thing. So thanks to him also settling was a good idea so currently we're just waiting for the food we ordered and we are hoping that it's gonna be halal so it's gonna be a good food you know like the other time we were seeing pork outside there and the the look wasn't that much but that's why i didn't try i would have tried and if you haven't seen the video of um i'm gonna throw that whole video without editing it the one that i'm gonna talk about uh the other side of bangkok that you guys don't know and most of people don't show we're gonna have to we're gonna see a lot of places a lot of things that actually move like african structured and i'm not gonna speak so much but now we're just waiting and i spoke to my dad he's gonna be coming here with mom in a couple maybe like minutes if not hours to come so we'll be meeting them here and yeah till then let's wait for the food and yeah i hope you have seen the other videos from day one to day 10 and a little update i'll be going to different places and keeping the videos as they want the two so as i may not like confuse the audience for what i'm doing maybe the video might see a little bit later maybe a couple months later just because i'm trying to please the algorithm and not just to throw all videos at the same time so yeah that's it and that's the little update for now till then catch up on the next like on the next one the food is here right now yeah so this is the first time i'm eating this Mm. 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 It's good. It's good. Mm. Mm. It tastes like chapati with this cheese. It's very nice. Yeah, this is the pork. I'm gonna mix it with a um, corn. All of it. Mm. 
Yeah, I'm not forgetting my scroll here. So literally, the this it's like chapati mixed with cheese. Inside, you can let me just cut it. I'm not good in using this, so I have a problem with it. So you can see, yeah, you can see it from inside. It's mixed with cheese here a little bit, which is nice. So it makes it more yummy and uh, if you are a fan of cheese i think this is the recommendation and uh i told you before if you are comparing the prices with the prices at your home you're not gonna you're not gonna have fun while comparing but if you're actually eating it and reasoning with the prices that you find here it's quite a fair price and yeah let me just dig in and i'll be speaking when i'm done with this eating but the food if you're actually looking for something that is uh museum side there are restaurants actually that are actually Muslim restaurants and even I've seen the Ethiopian restaurant that is near our places so it's a good one let's give a try to the cork because sometimes the cork is having a different taste and the Fanta yeah and the cork tastes original like tastes like cork mm. it's actually nice if you have, if you have, if you have known the the brand of Blueband or Prestige, it's kind of chapati with Prestige or Blueband. Like I would eat these, like five of them and get satisfied. But it's gonna cost me like five hundred, which is crazy. So I'm not gonna do that. I just took this one for trying. So when I don't have so much money right now for buying this out, so I'm just gonna <laughs> buy the one that I have. Then maybe later I'll eat again. Now this is just nice. It's nice. See? Now he knows it's nice. My young brother. Mm. Mm. This is so delicious. That's just fine. We want more. More. The plane, plane. They are bringing you another. One. He's not able to finish it, so let me finish it. But it's just so delicious. Mm. And they do the pop. Just like the way it's supposed to be. You have never tasted this. It's the first time. It's just so nice. I love that. Yeah. I also noticed so many things here. Like most of the shops are not owned by Thai people. I mean, not, not most of the shop. Like I have seen the shops. But most of them I will see that they are owned by foreigners. I have a feeling that this is like a foreign restaurant. Let me ask if this is like a Thai or more of a... Not Thai, let me ask her. Sorry. Sorry. That's a Are you Thai? Are you Thai? Yeah, man. Thank you. So I noticed like a lot of people, they are from outside the country coming here, which is very nice. She's the second person I've seen. I once met a person from Myanmar, in, uh, in a certain market. 
So, like, we have a lot of foreigners here. It looks like most of the shops now I can confirm that they are for foreigners. So my brother has decided to order this. These are the plain ones. They look dry. But I believe they are nice. For now, I think this is enough. I'll add up later. It will only take me a moment to finish all these cooks. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to eat the ice and finish the cook later because I'm good in finishing the cook we did of course get some time later to check out around also we continued while we would walk around the shops we met this guy we promised that we'd come back for the prices and checking it out because we were kind of in a rush so my brother I did get to try this sort of chinese if i should say or asian or what they call it japanese sort of style as you can see which is quite interesting the material itself was a good material i really like but the price of my friend it was so expensive this guy tried to sell us for 700 700 oh my god 700 by 700 by which is equivalent to 700 by is equivalent to 700 is equivalent to uh how much is it so let me go put it here first um seven seven hundred seven hundred so you want to buy if you want to it's given to 194 US dollars now no you make it for class so it's supposed to be supposed to be 19 US dollars oh my god for this kind of price and the statistics now they're going high it's not fair to sell this thing as 19 US dollars I think if you would have sold us at around 5 US dollars I think I, I would have bought it because I loved the style. It was inside out. It had two colors. You can wear it from the inside. You can wear it from the outside. That's the greatest part about it. Now, currently, I wasn't having enough money to say that I would uh, check all the clothes that she was showing us, the like different colors that we had. So I wanted also to try it on there and then to realize if it's really worth it. Now, the good thing is that these guys they're really friendly. Like when you really talk to them, they're really friendly. You try a cloth on and off. They wouldn't charge you, they wouldn't complain. They'll just try to convince you to buy it. Now, a lot of foreigners are here in Thailand trying to do business. I tried to figure out why, but it looks like most of the Myanmar people from Afghanistan, Pakistan, they're here in Thailand doing businesses and they're living here for a long time. Here. So, Nigerians, I wouldn't see them. Africans, I wouldn't see them. I wouldn't see them. Most people are here actually they are from those countries that I've mentioned. So if you are really interested in you know, from those countries, maybe it will be a chance for you to go and try a business here. Now as I'm going to show you, I'm gonna try this and I love these suits too. The suits were nice, but this spot is not going to be interested. Let me try it out and see how it's gonna look on me and I'm gonna show you. So as you can see, I am well, I'm kinda of fat so I think I need something big there. Something that I think uh, I need something that could cover me very well and make sure my tummy, big belly, and uh, yeah, that's the thing. So, also, I needed something that is more flexible, like as you can see, I do like that. Uh, you and I remember, so I needed something like that. You now, getting something of my own code was it's rare to get them, but it would have been the good choice, but because we didn't have enough money, so we had to cancel this. And they eat when you get some cash or you know, to turn on. Tell from the show, but we buy enough, we didn't get enough money in the time, so we had to stop it out or just leave it as the way it is and not be able to buy it. So now, if you're interested, you can just walk around. These clothes are so many of them in Thailand, but please and please just be careful on the place that you buy. You might go and buy things on an expensive place, expensive 
expensive market. The platinum one was kind of okay, but the other markets, the MBK, it's quite expensive if you want to buy something over there. But the thing is, if you want to buy electronics, if you came to MBK, that's where you're going to get your stuff. But if you go to this other market, you're not going to buy the electronics, the phones, and stuff. And the case on that is good for electronics, so I think that's my advice for you guys. In case if you have any questions, maybe about or buying the stuffs and all that, just make sure to ask me out. I'll answer all the things that you want to know about this place. And this is in case I don't have anything, maybe I'll direct you something or give you an instruction. Because you know, no one can know everything in this place. Yeah. Because Thailand is too big, you can't finish it yourself, you gotta go everywhere. Now I tried to check the bags too, we checked around and walked around. Thanks to God we did we got time to meet with the parents too we had dinner together. And also we then went back home using a grab taxi. So until then, see you next time. Guys you enjoyed it and check my videos.